The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. Vernon jumps out to a quick 1-0 lead here versus Jefferson in this wrist division battle. Watch Chris Rourke score for the Vikes as they take the early lead about a minute 30 into this first quarter. And Vernon makes it 2-0 here less than a minute later. Watch Brian Mills feed Anthony Biango who rifles at home and Vernon's off to a great start here at Jefferson High School. The Vikings go up 3-0 at the one quarter of play. Watch Joe Canal with the great look to Anthony Biango who sends it home for the goal for the Vikes. Second quarter we go and just nine seconds into the period, off the faceoff, Brian Mills finds Justin Kasler, then off the rebound, it's Travis Pappas for the goal for the Vikings, and they're up 4-0. The Vikings make it 5-0 here, it's Justin Kasler scoring the first of his four goals of the day, with this blast with 7.22 left in the period. Okay, Jefferson needs to rally and the Falcons started here, watch Dylan Johnson go with the grounder, and it goes in for the goal for the Falcons as they trail 5-1. And the Falcons make it 5-2 at the half in a scramble in front of the crease. Peyton Fossey redirects it into the goal for his first tally of the season. All right, third quarter we go. Dylan Pickard scores two quick goals for Jefferson. And here's the second tally. Watch Dylan Johnson work his way around before feeding Pickard near the crease for the goal. And Jefferson trails 5-4 early in the period. And the Falcons cap their explosive three-goal run here off the nifty move and shot from Dylan Johnson. And we are tied at 5-5. What a comeback by the Falcons. But Vernon retakes the lead here. Watch Justin Kassler scoop up the ground ball and score out of the pileup, and Vernon goes up 6-5. Okay, Jefferson's a man down and trails 7-6 with 2.30 left in the third quarter, and in the unsettled attack, it's Dylan Pickard with the goal, and we are tied at 7 as we enter the fourth quarter. Travis Pappas would score two goals to give Vernon a 9-7 lead, and the Vikes almost make it 10-7 here. Watch the great passing by the Vikes, but Connor Chirico stones Anthony Biango on the doorstep to keep it 9-7. Huge save right there. But Jefferson's scrappy, folks, and the Falcons tie it up again here as Dylan Johnson beats Brad Fisher for the goal, and with 5.45 left in the fourth quarter, we are knotted at 9. What a game. All right, Vernon has possession. After the faceoff, the Vikes are lethal in transition as they score again as Justin Kassler snaps the tie and Vernon goes up 10-9. And with Jefferson taking chances on defense, watch Brian Mills find the wide open net and Vernon would go on to post a hard foot 12-9 Riz Division victory over the Falcons. Oh, I think uh, we did a great job on transition. You know, first quarter we came out really fired up and we got a, a good lead and uh, it started to fall apart in the second period, but I think third and fourth we kept up the intensity and uh, we put some goals away. We came out ready to play. Jefferson's always a big opponent for us. Coach is old school, so you know we got to take it to him. It was great. Our defense in the beginning was playing really good. We were playing really intense, and then those first like three or four goals that we had in the beginning of the game, they were just brought the momentum up, and we were just playing a lot harder because of that. It was amazing. And it's always tough when we come to see the Falcons. Uh, you know, we respect them as much as they respect us. The kids know each other. They play pre and postseason together in the different leagues uh, and I think we just said really stay disciplined I mean you saw Canal get driven out of bounds but he comes back he plays I mean they, they just played with their hearts and when we lost the momentum the kids kept up to it and it turned out our way. This hard-hitting game was tied at nine but Justin Kassler snapped the tie with a big goal for the Vikings. I don't know it was just a good feed from Patty and uh, you know I just I just put it in there and it's been like that all season you know right on the crease we, we get a lot of goals through transition and like I'm, I'm always posted up on top of the crease so it was, it was a good job. One of the keys to this Vernon season has been its balanced attack one of four or five guys can beat you on any given day. What's great about it because uh, if one of us isn't going to get it done the other five are and vice versa it's, it's just great. It's a team uh, on the defense it's seven working together and offense it's six and for success to work Everybody has to work together. If they're shutting off Mills or going after Rourke, then Biango has to step up, or Justin, or, or Luke Tremont. He made a great play the other day off the crease. And that's what it is. It's a team game. I think more so than any other sport, because everybody relies on each other. Joey Canal plays a big role on this team. He's a ground ball machine. Winning those ground balls are such a key to us. The fundamentals are help us so much. Our fast breaks, when we get the ground balls off that, our fast breaks work and then we start scoring our fast breaks all the time because of it. Just because of those ground balls, all the fundamentals that we do, we work on every day. It just helps us so much. With the one goal lead, Vernon kept its composure, tacked down a couple of more to pull out a big victory. Our coach always preaches with composure and you know they started to get a little chippy out there but we always keep our heads and we, we, we keep each other controlled and it's just a great win. We just never put our heads down. I mean we were working hard and then after that when it was 9-9 and then Caster came and just went through three people it was 
incredible. Everyone started getting pumped up again. Everyone started working harder. We knew we could do it and gave us the win. Usually we get way ahead of ourselves and rush it and move way too fast, but we knew that we had to settle it and just keep it controlled because if we have the ball, they can't score. So that's how we got it done today. Again, it's, it's about staying focused. When everything looks not going your way, we just have to stay focused, do what our mission is, do what we've been taught to do, and they did it. Uh, I was constantly telling Justin, go to the cage, go to the cage, and you could see that one a beautiful play near the end. He just kept going and going, and he found, he found the, uh, the net. This is a big win for the Vikings as far as power points are concerned, as the Hunter Warren Sussex Seeds will be coming out soon, as also the state tournament. I think it's going to help it greatly. You know, now we got the momentum back. I think the, the last like four or five games, I think we could really put away, and uh, this is going to be it's going to be a good end of the season. The risk is behind us, but we're hoping for the Hunter in tournament. Going to go far in that, hopefully, and we're going to go as far as we can in states. We're hoping for a big tournament just got to stay confident and just got to keep working the working around and keep doing our fundamentals starts off at practice how, how you play in practice is how you play in a game and the harder you play in practice they'll do good in the tournament and hopefully go back to the finals again you can't wait to get to the tournaments you know things didn't go our way with the wrist division so we got to look forward to the tournaments not only uh, that tournament but the states we have to crawl back and qualify for the states this is a huge week for us we got to take all three games